Hello. Hello. I'm Cam. I am Cole. And this is Tortilla, our three-toed box turtle. We call her Tilly for short. Yes. Um, but we thought it was funny because we were trying to think of things that had tort in the name. Or tert. Or, or tert. Something like that. Because she is a box turtle, even though she looks a lot like a tortoise or a small. Also behaves kind of like a tortoise. Yeah. Given that she's... Um, box turtles are some of the few. She's losing interest, so I'm gonna put that. Terrapin right. species that are um, Come on. not aquatic. So um, we have some super worms to keep her entertained because they are her favorite. You guys are gonna watch that for a little bit. <laughs> It'll probably take her a while, but. I hope she doesn't tilt the plate. She crosses her. Bonk. <laughs> she it already. Yeah. Dang, look at you go. Anyway, um, so what are we doing today, Cam? Um, besides feeding Tilly, we are going to be building her a brand new enclosure. So Tilly came to us um, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and we have had her in a quarantine enclosure since then. Um, to get all our leftovers um so she has had a smaller amount of space than what we would keep her in long term um she has had her uv light heat bulb um a small pond to be able to soak in when she wanted to a food dish a paper towel substrate i don't know if i already said that or not yeah, so that way we can monitor her health and those sort of things. Make sure that if she has anything going on, um, we can address that before we get her into her long-term enclosure where things are a little harder to catch. So she is a big day for her. She's going to be moving from her old enclosure into this new one. Um, and it is, it is quite a hefty one. It's about six foot by a foot and a half deep by two feet tall, mm -hmm. um, which gives us a lot of room for um, depth. And so, and also for building a nice um, gradient of landscape from one end over to the other. You guys will see. We don't want to divulge too much, but you guys will see everything that we do. We'll voice over it um, and all that. It'll be just a time lapse, and then we'll talk a little bit at, at the end. Um, so yeah, we uh, we hope you enjoy, and we hope she enjoys. More importantly, sorry about it, and we care about you guys, but. She's the more important audience. This is her, this is her house we're talking pleasure. about. Yeah. Um, Coming on me. But, yeah, she's gone. She She's done with this video. She wants to run um, away. We hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let us know down in the car comments uh, what else we could add. This is what the end product looks like. Now, as you can see, there's the tunnel. Um, there's, you know, the different plants and things, um, all of the logs, different staircases, beach, all of that. And it's all super fancy. But I think the main problem with a lot of videos like this is that no one tells you what it looks like in 
you know, 24 hours in a week, those sort of things. Um, so this next clip is going to show you sort of our observations after 24 hours of Tilly roaming in her enclosure. Um, and with that, you'll sort of see the downfalls of designing an enclosure certain ways because you can have a perfect image in your mind and it may not um, come out the way you expected because of your, the realistic thing is that you're, you're dealing with live animals, right? Um, live animals have the tendency to move, um, believe it or not. So um, I guess here's this next clip. Enjoy. So quick update on the enclosure. This is a one day later update. I'm gonna give you a couple a couple things. First off, this stick was supposed to be like right here to provide like a barrier so she doesn't walk off the edge, but it's evident that she just decided she makes her own path because she just took it with her. Um, these ramps had sticks to be like a little staircase sort of thing. They're all over, not a huge deal. Uh, food dish has yet to have food in it since moving her in, but um, is is gonna need a clean before that. This plant uh, is almost fully uprooted, so that's great. Um, there's a tile there. I'll show you. It's supposed to be for her to scratch her, uh, her nails on as she walks over it. Couldn't see it until I lifted it, I bet. Um, and then finally, this pond with the filter, filthy, filthy, filthy. Um, so yeah, How, what do you have to say for yourself? I see, silent treatment. Yeah, there's a little update. Um, as those plants get rooted in a little bit more, it'll be harder for her to uproot them like that because right now they're um, just settling into the new enclosure. So um, they're not super well rooted down. Um, but otherwise, I mean, realistically, um, it's probably the most naturalistic thing that she's had since she's been, you know, in anyone's care. Um, I guess I don't know where she came from originally, but she was on... Um, she was on, sorry, I was fixing that plant, more or less. Um, she was on like mulch sort of thing, which isn't terrible. Um, it's not great because they, they do like to dig in things, which is why we gave her the little tunnel. Um, but yeah, not super thrilled about having to clean that pond out every single day, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Ain't that right, Tilly? I thought I'd get her. But. She has had an opportunity to go explore her enclosure. Um, Which, since that video, the cave that we made, she's going to check out. Um, uh, the cave that was in it, we now have a cover over there, over it held on to the glass held by magnets. So that way there is that sort of um, comfort of hideawayness. So she's just not in a, um, a bubble effect. Um, and we also added some pea she's gravel. She's gonna bite you if you keep her fingers in. Yeah, she's gonna bite you. A flinch. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> we added some pea gravel. Um, uh, throughout the sand and the entrance of her little cave. Just uh, one for continuity, um, but two, it is a little less messy than dragging sand everywhere. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, um, go ahead and like and subscribe. And we uh, hope that you continue to watch our videos and let us know what you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Aww. Have a great day. Oh, she decided it's bathroom time. Great time to cut. Have a great day.